traders good morning good afternoon i hope you are doing in today's video we are going to analyze nifty and want to understand how is the index moving till diwali because we will have more of trading on diwali so i hope all of you are excited for that and then uh, we will also find out what are the stocks we can invest till next year diwali which can give us result i'm going to show you a simple te technique which you can use on a regular basis and find stocks and invest this technique has a beautiful stop loss trailing method which you can use and you can identify stocks invest that amount and uh, whenever the stop loss is hit please exit without thinking too much so it's a very simple strategy you just have to spend an hour or half an hour for the weekend once you master it it's like a cake walk you can always invest and make returns and get out and nothing is 100% in the market you always need to uh, be ready to accept um, even if there is any kind of stop loss hit but i am telling you uh, even if the stop loss is hit a couple of trades don't panic because uh, the limit whatever we set for the strategy is is what you are going to take until and unless you are not going to change the rules of the trade which i am going to show it to you so let's get started let's start with our uh, nifty analysis anyways i have nifty open here so this is a daily chart if you see um, this is a daily chart on any chart you can see whether the candle representing this is daily or weekly okay so now for us to analyze nifty on multiple time frames what we are going to do is we are going to do it on daily we are going to do it on weekly and we are going to do it on 15 minutes so stay with me and watch this so on a daily time frame what is it saying so we are going by two rules what we have one is uh, 200 period moving average okay so this is the 200 period moving average and this is your 20 period moving average okay so these are the two key moving averages which i am using and there is one more moving average which will be five moving average i guess it was 21 200 and you know? oh. so the band is off yeah so we will just switch up the vwap and yes moving average five so for time being we will switch up the average 5. So three things we have added here. I have added a super trend which is 14 to and candlesticks and then we have 21 period moving average and 21 period average. So whenever the index or any stock which you are trading is above this 200 period moving average then look out for buy opportunities. Okay. If it is below this, then look out for sell opportunities. My lighting is so bad with this mouse. So, anyways, uh, I will summarize it when I am writing it in the text and do that. So, here, if you can see, the super trend has given a great entry, and you are able to write this entire move till here. And this is for a long period of time. This is from April till August. It was in a bullish move, and then after that, it started consolidating. Okay, this made a head and shoulders pattern. Okay, and now the market is in sideways, but there is a good chance that this is a rising 200. So market will halt here for some time. Okay, so this is Nifty index, which is comprising of 50 stocks. Okay, so this is top 50 of India. What is the status of these companies? So this is what we are trying to understand. So this is a clear pattern which is emerging and uh, we are, as per the super trend, it is bullish and there is a green candle forming today. That means, uh, yes, this is a daily candle, so this is for today. So let's look at weekly candle on uh, Weekly candle, there is a good pattern which is forming at this level because uh, there was a first breakdown but the price didn't go down much and it didn't form any lower low so far. And uh, But there is a high possibility like I 
quoted in the last video also that till Diwali it can remain here in this zone and since the super trend on a weekly time frame is showing downward trend it can come down uh, to, a, to an extent which which can be at this level okay so this is holding up this level if it breaks then we can see up to these levels there can be a crash up to these levels I am not able to see so 17,200 these kind of levels can be achieved if it breaks from here because this was in continuous uptrend and even if I put a Fibonacci retracement let's use this tool and map the high end okay this was the high so we have already reached up to 38.2 percent okay so this is the 38.2 percent mark and if need be it can come up to 50 to 61 percent and if it breaks from here it can come straight into this zone and this is a golden zone and you need to wait for a candle which can exit from this zone then you can take an entry and then it can start moving up so the situation is not good not bad but yes it is in a sideways zone so we have to wait for some more time so let's go to our charting i'm going to use this tool called charting okay, this is a very good uh, tool where you can actually automate your searching pattern and you can find your stocks okay so what i'm going to use is i'm going to have already created one for myself weekly close cross demo weekly super trend 14 2.5 i've used i have not used the standard one so 14.3 or 14.2.5 you can use it okay so i'm getting to see some five stocks here let's try and analyze what is the pattern these stocks are forming and is it worth investing in these stocks let's check so i'm going to use my sas online and let's uh, add all these stocks to here alchem alchem laboratories first one second is in petro third is chambal fertilizers fourth is bharat petroleum ppcl fifth is a negative short entry i think indian oil corporation i don't think i don't want to trade anything which is 98 because it may not give you such kind of so i would always like to see what is in green because we are looking for an investment in a bullish company uh, bullish pattern okay so let's look at the chart for this i will try to open up the chart on the full screen so this is a weekly chart so what do you see as per the rule what we have defined the price is uh, below 200 it's coming from below 200 and trying to cross and uh, of course we got an entry on the super trend this week which is a positive candle but this is in a zoom 200 period moving average is like a ball of china okay so nothing can breach it so easily so we have to wait if any candle forms here if you are too conservative trader then you wait for a retracement back to this level or you can take an entry above this and the stop loss is below this candle if it gets rejected it can start coming down so this is not a stock which we are going to look out for so let's look at other stock this is ppc and ppc is rejected next stock is our chambal fertilizers so chambal fertilizers if you see in a long term it is bullish it is nicely holding on to the level here and super trend is also giving you an entry your stop loss will be always super trend so you have to move with the super super trend like this okay if you take an entry here the stop loss will be always super trend. Any candle closing below super trend is where you need to exit. Okay, listen to this very carefully that whenever the trend 
of the super trend is changed and candle is closing below the super trend okay like this then you have to exit so this was a bullish entry this was a bullish entry but this hit your stop loss that's fine so when you lose you lose us are small your losses will be small but your winners will be long so that is how we are going to gain so if you do a sampling of 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 trades uh, the trades which you lose will be always fixed and it will be small the trades where you win will be bigger so that's the reason i said that you will not lose much and the investment will be safe and you're going to make some returns on it so chimbal fertilizer is giving you good entry your stop loss will be this which is uh, 200 250 okay so you can put a stop loss up to here and uh, if you take an entry at 307 and 2 260 is your stop loss then 307 minus 260 uh, the number of points you get 307 minus 260 okay let's use calculator what i'm trying to tell you is that how much quantity you have to take 7 minus 260 47 so if your risk per trade is 5000 okay you can only risk 5000 per trade then 47 divided by 47 so 106 shares you can buy so 106 is your quantity which you have to buy here okay nothing more nothing less 106 quantity if you buy here if your stop loss is hit candle closes below this you will lose 5000 okay and if you gain you continue with your super trend no matter how long it will go you can keep invested you can keep your investment safe in that okay so that's for chambal fertilizer but i hope you're understanding the logic which i'm trying to tell you so next let's go to in petrol in petrol has given a massive entry and uh, it's an entry with volume you get the volume here the volume is pretty high it is above the average volume of and it's a pretty solid elephant bar okay and it is giving you an entry on super trend and it is bouncing from 200 period average which is very good and uh, let's try to look at the trend the overall so overall this is in a range sideways range if you see this particular thing this price is in a range here so it's quite tricky because it has to take take out this high first then retrace and then it can start going up so it can be risky because in instant petroleum i don't have much of scope after this entire rally it can stay in sideways for some more days so for the moment let's avoid this although it has given a good entry but uh, some conditions have to be met now let's go to the next stock which is alchem the first one which we have looked at alchem is looking fantastic so this is what i want to see usually when i'm picking up any stock so this is a nicely rising 200 volume is also pretty good candle is also pretty big so you can actually close your eyes and invest in okay so this is not uh, an advice i'm saying i'm just trying to tell you a pattern and strategy which you can use you can use this strategy and you know if you want to invest these are the rules which you need to follow Okay, so these are the stocks which are appearing in our list and uh, I will be most preferably going with Alchem Labs. It is pretty decent stock. Anyways, so that's it guys. I want to keep the video very short and very informative. If you can learn from these things and if you have any doubts, please comment and I will be happy to share uh, the kind of knowledge I have in these aspects. And if anybody is interested, obviously I have 
a course for you guys where you can uh, spend some time with me on the weekend and try to learn this in about uh, four to five hours, which I can dedicate and uh, teach you the simple strategies which I use for investing. Thank you so much for watching. That's it in this video.